Hey, it's Matt with your A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Amari Pollard pleaded guilty to first-degree murder on Thursday, capping four days of courtroom drama connected to the shooting that wrought havoc on the Huguenot High School graduation last June. Pollard, 20, was sentenced to 40 years in prison with 18 years suspended. The plea came as a shock twist in a trial that looked set to go to jury deliberations, but after a series of bruising decisions that were handed to Pollard's defense team, Pollard reversed course. Law enforcement is releasing and, at least for now, will not prosecute a 35-year-old man who was arrested and jailed last week in connection with threats made against Roanoke City Public Schools, officials said on Wednesday. Data linked Johnson's name to accounts and devices used to spread the threats. And Brian Steinspring, a former Virginia Tech assistant coach, was named head coach at Division III Roanoke College. The Maroons are reinstituting football for the first time since 1942. And it was 111 years that the Virginia statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee stood in the U.S. Capitol before it was removed in December 2020. It was announced this week that in its place will stand a statue of civil rights pioneer Barbara Johns, who was a teenager in 1951, led a student walkout to protest conditions at her segregated high school in Prince Edward County. And in just its third year of a basketball program, the Fighting Squirrels of Mary Baldwin University in Stanton were among six Virginia schools to earn spots in the 2024 Men's Basketball Tournament. Joining Hamden, Sydney, Randolph, Macon, Christopher, Newport, Virginia, Wesleyan, and Marymount, MBU became a co-educational school with the inclusion of men just seven years ago. And a Hanover man who had been scheduled to go on trial in the shooting deaths of two popular police officers at a Virginia college in 2022 instead pleaded guilty and was sentenced to life in prison. Alexander Wyatt Campbell, a 29-year-old, pleaded guilty on Monday to two counts of first-degree murder in the deaths of Bridgewater College Officer John Painter and Campus Safety Officer J.J. Jefferson. And Richmond is dedicating 10 acres in the city's historic Shaco Bottom to preserve and develop a destination to acknowledge and teach about the city's sordid history with slavery. The announcement came on Tuesday at Main Street Station. The plans, which have been in the works for nearly 15 years, called for developing the area that neighbors the train station between Main and Broad Streets into an interactive indoor and outdoor educational experience, largely based on community engagement and input. That's it for this week's A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Make sure you pick up a copy of Sunday's paper for a more detailed recap from news from across the state.